In this video we're going to be having a look at inequalities involving the modulus function. So take this question as an example. It says solve the inequality modulus of 4x minus 3 is less than the modulus of 2x plus 1. So the modulus sign, what it does, it makes things positive for the purposes of core 3. So that means we don't know whether what's in the modulus sign is positive or negative. All we see is the positive version. Well to guarantee something to be positive, we can square it. In fact, that works in this case. We can square both sides. So 4x minus 3 squared is less than 2x plus 1 squared. And having squared both sides, that allows us to solve it now as a quadratic inequality. So let's multiply these brackets out. We get 16x squared minus 12x minus 12x plus 9 is less than 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 1. Okay, simplifying, we get 12x squared minus 20x. The 9 take 1 is 8. So plus 8 is less than 0. Then I'm noticing that 4 is a factor of all that. So 3x squared dividing both sides by 4 minus 5x plus 2 I'll make that plus sign a little bit clearer is less than 0 and at this point and truth be told the previous line as well we can just go to our calculator to the inequality solver it's a degree 2 polynomial and this particular one is a less than inequality so it's the second option so 3 minus 5, 2. And we get the answer there. 2 thirds is less than x is less than 1. 2 thirds less than x less than 1. And that there is quadratic inequalities involving the modulus sign. For more videos and resources like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.